What is up Smack Empire, Smack Empire here and welcome back to another Dark Deception video today. Ladies and gentlemen, we are going to take a look at a couple of things that might interest you and it has to do with the confirmation of my previous theory. Yes, as we move closer to chapter 4, my theories and you'll see that my theories will slowly start to make sense and it will get confirmation after confirmation. It's for chapter 4 and it is a big one. Also, we have brand new screenshots for DD Mobile, chapter 2 is level 2 and surprisingly chapter 3 is level 1. This this video is going to be real juicy now without wasting any more time let's begin Of course, we're going to start with the DD Mobile so we can have as much time as possible for the big chapter 4 theory. Now, I know this might not everyone's cup of tea. However, it is for some of us. DD Mobile was delayed from December 2019 last year, by the way, to January 2020, which if you're still hungover from end of the world party, Life is Strange reference to New Year's Eve, Batman Arkham Origins reference, we are in January 2020. So expect a release date anytime next week or week after that. Vincent Livings, the executive director for this game, posted some brand new screenshots relating to Dark Deception mobile port and how it would look. And trust me when I say this, it has outdone the previous ones on Twitter, he said. Quote, more DD mobile pics with not one, not two, but three images. In game, by the way, this is how it would look like when you start playing it on your phone. Screenshots of Dark Deception running clean and juicy on phone. The first one is from Chapter 2's second level, Manor to be exact. We've had Chapter 2 screenshots, but it wasn't explicit Manor look. Now it is. In the first image, you can see a couple of brand new changes. Firstly, the Manor looks awesome in this. They're still blowing my mind about how they're porting this thing for phone. And even there, it looks clean as a windshield. Wait, no, that's not what I wanted to say. Regardless, we can see shards map, like always. Cursor to move around and collect shard. Basic stuff. Settings icon. Necessary. But then you have this. Power section. Now, the last time we and we talked about powers for phone, we came to the conclusion that Wince said no more powers because it would make it easier to port for a mobile, hence it is cheap. Could be a joke. But you have this thing right beside the power section. What does it imply? What does it do? We'll come to that in just a second. Then we have this screenshot and oh boy, this beats the first one. Look at this. Firstly, why does this painting have to represent this matter? I get it there's a history but I don't like you get out of my face you too middle painting now apart from two candles not being lit up this is a looking very nice I said looking not the other word god dang it anyways I always hated this level not because it is bad or anything it is hard as freak and I'm more than sure it's gonna be even harder for mobile players as well but guess what I'll beat them I'll beat them once I'll beat them twice and I'll beat them in any device that rhyme they can represent themselves you want to know why because I'm smacking pie wow why? I need to start rapping. Hold up. Lastly, we have the screenshot of them all. The best one. And that is Dougie's Stranger Sewers. Now, this one, ladies and gentlemen, takes the cake. All pastries. Heck, a whole shop. All of that good stuff. Why? Because this is the good stuff. We have three Dougies. And we have the quack quack in the background we have all of that good stuff i need to stop with the good stuff this one should be good now i do afraid and concerned about optimization how much there is if any and compatibility issues i know they would like as many people playing this game as possible so cannot rule out the older devices but with these graphics let's just hope optimization is good enough to support 30 frames per second on your older phones but you never know it's going to be tricky to play stranger sewers on phones because it's already tricky to play on pc it's easy but it's kind of tricky so with no powers other than speed boost which we'll come to in just a second this is gonna be interesting other than that we still have no release date and we shouldn't be rushing it either let them take their time they have way too much on their plate right now from chapter 4 to DD mobile to crossover to pharmacalypse and not to mention their indie devs not your average EA Star Wars microtransactors or Activision's AAA company being funded by Microsoft or Sony oh I totally forgot one thing this icon right here usually this represents the undo action like if you make a mistake you can undo but here it means only one thing change of powers now I'm not sure how teleportation would work out especially changing the distance since on PC you can scroll using your mouse button to do the distance but here either they have to select a default distance for the teleportation and you have to roll with it or there are no teleportation but you have other powers since other powers such as telepathy and primal fear requires one click to work I'm not sure but I'd love to play and experience it nonetheless who knows they might 
cannot add any other powers like when said earlier. So what are your thoughts on these new screenshots? More excited for it than ever before because hopefully it's coming this month because it is January. Make sure to subscribe for more playthroughs of both chapters. Chapter 1 will be free on Android and iOS and Chapter 2 will be paid. It's $1.75. Come on, if you can't pay for that, come on. And I am working on Let's Play of Chapter 2. Give me some time. Agatha and Manor, I'm coming for you. I had to record this video first. Which brings me to the next thing, Chapter 4. Now, so far, this game has received praises from all departments, especially its innovative gameplay. Well, okay, maybe not that innovative, but it is different. It's like 3D Pac-Man horror game. Then the story element was a bit weak in Chapter 1. It picked up in Chapter 2 and then went to Roof by Chapter 3, and it's almost necessary for story to work in Chapter 4 because it's now just as much important as gameplay for this game. I love this game for a lot of reasons. Mainly, both gameplay and story work together hand in hand. That's how I dictate if I love a specific game or it's gonna be one of those, you know, the other way around. Now you might be wondering, what does that has to do anything with Chapter 4's new take, question mark? Well, it's because just when we thought all OSTs are done, Glow Stick Entertainment was like, psych, there's more. Just recently, they uploaded a brand new OST on their YouTube channel, which was available a day prior to all the members from their membership program. You know, they get stuff a bit early than the rest of the people. It doesn't mean they're excluded or exclusive. They just get reward for going extra mile to support the devs a bit earlier than the rest of us. We all support them, you know what I'm talking about. Anyways, the funny part about this new OST is that it is for Chapter 4. However, it is not Nurses or Joy Joy Gang or even Mama Beer. Its cover is Malak. Freaking Malak out of all, not even Beers, not even your random Doug Hauser. The title is very intriguing. Dark deception. Repercussions. What does repercussion means anyway? Well, according to our good friend Google, I researched a little bit, it means an unintended consequence of an event or action, especially an unwelcome one. Sounds familiar? I think so. Now with that in mind, let's hear a few seconds of it to see what this actually means anyway. Okay, so this ain't no chasing theme. That's not any boss theme. That's not even a monster's introduction theme. Sad violin and piano. That doesn't represent any of that good monster stuff. No, it doesn't. Why do I feel like I'm saying this good stuff all the time is gonna become something in the future anyways? In order to understand, we have to go back all the way to chapter 3. Well, that wasn't all the way back, but it's still, it's been a hot minute since chapter 3. In chapter 3, we learned a ton about the story, starting from Doug's daughter, Tammy Hauser, and the Stranger Sewer secret note to the wall paintings to Doug's wife, which I refer to as Christine Tracy. We might as well use that name since it's not even in use anymore, so who cares? And Crazy Carn Evil Secret Notes, which was time was up. But we can go even more back to chapter 2, where we learned the first time how it all ended. A mother and a daughter died in a car accident, whilst a man looking vaguely at them as they sink deep into the realm of darkness of pure eternal death. Not sure if pure is the right word to describe this horrible tragedy. Yes, I know. I said accident and now I'm saying tragedy. Stick with me. Now, keeping all the context in mind, let's jump to one of the most important teaser of the last year. This one, where we see a bridge, rain, and most importantly, cars, police cars to be exact, as something horrible might have happened on the bridge whilst raining. You already know where this is going. I talked about it on the channel. I said that it is a flashback. It has to be. That'll prompt during chapter four. It is inevitable. The if we're talking about the accident that happened in chapter 2, they have to address it in chapter 4 visually. It is time. This right here will be the start of a brand new arc in the story. So far, it's been beers to help us, to remind us of our failures and why we are here. But after continuous failed attempts of Malak stopping us, he's going to become a bit serious now. He tried to intimidate us by showing up in Chapter 2, used his best buddies in Chapter 3, both Crazy Car and Evil and Stranger Sewers, none of that worked, and we collected one ring piece after another. That's going to lead Malak to break his silence and patience. Now why silence, you might ask, because he'll tell us some weird stuff, Beers' backstabbing stories, but more importantly, he'll learn about us and use that against us. Flashback, the grief, if any, for Doug against him. This OST will be used during that flashback as one of his tactics. That is why his face is on the cover of this random OST, hence the title Repercussions is in there because the accident, like I explained the word repercussions definition, because the accident 
was kind of an unintended consequence of his actions, Doug's actions to be exact, not just to any random people, those were his family. And to top that, he'll feel that again, the same night, the night that changed everything for him, the night that started the trail to come to this ballroom to meet Beers, and whether it is his guilt of doing such things that Malik will use against him, or the fact that he still got a chance that Doug will use against that flashback to snap out of that and continue to do whatever he is doing. We are in very interesting and very intriguing part of the story. If this all appears to be true, then Doug might become even more powerful than Beers and Malak combined. They have this tendency of rivalry, getting thrown and power, and when I say thrown, I don't mean the W one, I mean the NE one. Doug has much bigger purpose that could overweight or outweight them both. Beers is already giving him powers. Doug is already snatching Malak's ring pieces one after the other. Both of them, Beers and Malak, are slowly getting weak and they are in a very vulnerable position. So now the question begs, how will it end? Well, that's for another video, but for now, all I can say is, if this leads continue the way it is right now, there is a high chance and probability of using this arc right here and this rivalry to build up Dark Deception Season 2. Yes, I said Season 2 or Part 2. Is this theory has some solid ground in the court or it is admissible? That's for you to decide. So make sure you, ladies and gentlemen, are subscribed with the notifications on. Help me get to 25,000 subscribers. I'm smacking until next time. Take care and peace.